Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be looking at a number of powerful machines we know you'll love to see. Make sure you stick around to learn about the fat truck. First up, we have the 220 SMI 3.8, which is a surface miner. It is used to collect natural resources up to 350 millimeters in depth with an unconfined compressive strength of 35 megapascals. Its 3.8 meter cutting drum unit has been optimized for soft rock mining to achieve optimum output at the lowest possible operational costs. Thanks to its wind drawing features, it continuously deposits the material behind the machine. This enables the extraction of natural resources without drilling or blasting. The surface miner is an excellent choice for usage in small to medium sized mining operations. Next is the Dynapec CT3000, a compactor designed for use on cohesive and semi-cohesive soils. It weighs 25 tons and has an average output capacity of 1046 cubic yards per hour. It is powered by a Cummins turbo diesel engine producing 260 horsepower. The front oscillating axle operates independently of the strike-off blade and stiff rear axle. This allows the blade to operate in a consistent position, ensuring regular dirt dispersion on any terrain. Its drums are separated, offset by the width of a pad, enabling the rear drum to compress remaining areas. This yields a double pass compaction of 14.5 feet. Next we have the TR20, a slinger machine capable of handling all types of material. Its heavy duty conveyor is equipped with a feed belt, providing over 32 tons of pulling strength. It is powered by the CAT Tier 4 C7 engine, delivering 225 horsepower for demanding operations. Thanks to its dual speed rubber tracks, you can take it through any terrain type. The TR20 is ideal for traversing extreme terrain. Its hopper delivers 9 cubic yards per minute, even with low ground pressure, making it an ideal option for working in areas with sensitive vegetation, such as wetlands. Next is the JCB Hydradig 110W, a wheeled excavator designed for safer operation in tight, crowded work sites. Its boom arm can be fitted with various head tools, including buckets, handlers, and construction equipment. The operator can also utilize its 7,700 pound towing capacity to transport extra attachments. Its cam provides 360 degree visibility an all-steel chassis with a 109 horsepower engine and double-skin tanks lowers the center of gravity. This offers stability while lifting or transporting goods around the worksite. looking at the Fat Truck 2.8P, which can climb, crawl, and swim. It measures 146.5 inches long, 100 inches wide, and 103 inches in height. It has a 2,200 pound payload capacity with a shipping weight of 1,465 pounds. 
the driver can adjust to the terrain using the tire inflation system. Instead of a wheel, there is a joystick. The truck can turn 360 degrees in the water, climb at slopes of up to 35 degrees, and carry eight people. At 1400 RPM, the four-cylinder diesel engine delivers 67 horsepower and 153 foot-pounds of torque. This vehicle can go 25 miles per hour on land and 3.1 miles per hour on water. Next we have the CAT 777G, a water truck offering a smarter solution for quarry sites to control dust as well as for other applications. Its water delivery system helps in maintaining sustainable operations. It delivers variable water flow based on truck speed and determines the appropriate flow to reduce the risk of accidents. Its truck comes standard with an integrated 20,000 gallon water tank, complete with a spray system and rock ejectors. In economy mode, it's able to consume 13% less fuel when compared to its maximum power. Its water cannon runs at engine idle speed, saving up to 50% on fuel. Cold planers are used for the removal of pavement or concrete from driving surfaces. The PM822 is one such cold planer, offering a milling width of 88 inches with depth control. It has been equipped with a high material flow K rotor. Its rotor drive system features a heavy duty dry clutch, automatic belt tensioning to prevent slippage, and two high tensile belts to drive the rotor. Moreover, using its high-capacity conveyors, you can efficiently remove milled material with outstanding discharge control. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you let us know if you want us to include both measurements in the captions in the future. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more great machines. Feel free to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to us. And with that, we'll see you next time.